Well, freelancers, it looks like this is going to be the last of this type of video for the year. With Ice Tide releasing just the other day, we got a slew of cosmetics that were data mined courtesy of EXO from Anthem Archive. A link to their website will be in the description below. Though what surprised me the most from all these cosmetics was, well, Ice Tide's going to be lasting for over 50 days. And for there to be so few cosmetics is kind of surprising. There are four armor sets and a slew of wraps, but no new materials, no new emotes, no new anything else aside from that. What was even more surprising was all this stuff that was data mined, none of it will be in challenges, or at least anything that I can see. Everything that I have seen so far will be in the featured store at some point in time. Which, as most of you know, I'm not too thrilled about, especially with some of the best stuff from Ice Tide being locked in the featured store, such as the armor sets. Though, that being said, we also get four armor sets from completing a challenge in Ice Tide along with a lot of other cosmetics, so I guess what I'm trying to say is if you really want it, you can pay for it. If not, no skin off your back, but these are some pretty neat cosmetics. To get things started off really quickly, we're going to be looking at the wraps and we're just going to breeze right through them. First up, we have Feral Cold, and of the wraps, I think this would be the one that I'm going to pick up. It looks like it has simulated either bone or fur on the arms and legs. I dig the design, I dig the cross pattern, but this would probably be one of the only wraps I'm going to pick up during the Ice Tide season. Next up we have Frosted Thread, which is a pretty neat black and white wrap, but nothing else really interesting about this wrap, so I'm going to definitely pass on this one. Then we have Frozen Drifter, once again featuring a bluish-black theme with some gold attached to it. Following that we have Glacier's Gleam, once again a gold and blue wrap with, I guess, a black faceplate. Alright, cool, whatever. Moving on. We have Tundra Stalker. It looks like we have some sort of stag antlers, though it's unfortunate with the placing being closer to the lower portion of the body. Would have been cooler if that was migrated up a little bit towards the torso, but oh well. Following that, we have Weathered Hide. I'm not overly impressed with it, though I do usually tend to go for flashier colors, and this might be more your speed, especially when equipped with one of the new Ice Tide armor sets, which we will be getting to here in just a moment. Following that, we have its pretty much cousin, Winter's Coat, which again features brown and simulated bone on both the arms and the legs. Now this one I like to call the Wampa Wrap, aka Arctic Berserker. It has simulated fur on the arms, shoulders, and lower legs. It's actually a pretty cool looking vinyl, and this might be one of the ones I pick up. Again, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it might look really cool on the Ice Tide armor sets. Moving on, we have a more Christmassy themed wrap called Chilled Forest. It has some teeth featured on the ribs, a little of that wampa texture on the shoulders, and of course, green and black throughout. Next up, we have Glacial Tyrant. This one is all over the place, and I have no idea where to even begin, but you know, what you see is what you get. Blue, brown, gold-ish, with some very pale tan. Next up, we have Glistening Chill, and this is actually one of the ones I would probably pick up for at least the Ranger, digging the pattern on it and liking where the color placement is, especially towards the helmet. However, as always, I would recommend you checking it out on your Javelin before purchasing it from the Featured Store, as what it looks like on the Featured Store's basic Javelin default is not going to be what it looks like on your fully customized javelin. Following up from that, we have Icebreaker, and this is a big ol' no for me, but maybe some of you might like it. A lot of brown, a lot of white, a lot of pale tan, and obviously, a lot of baby blue. From there, we have Ice Striker, which has a honeycomb pattern on the legs, and your traditional blue, brown, and white throughout the body with some neat patterns. Again, not one I would pick up, but hey. From there, we have the permafrost wrap. This one, I could actually get behind. I'm all about how the helmet looks first and foremost, and then I look at the body. And the body is actually not half bad. It's got a good balance of blue, white, and brown, and the pattern isn't too bad. Probably wouldn't pick this up with shards, maybe I would do it with coins, but decent enough. Next up, we have Phantom's Grin, and this looks like a Season of Skulls wrap. However, it was data mined for Ice Tide, and I don't know. Is this a Season of Skulls wrap? Someone let me know in the comments below, but it ain't half bad. Not my taste, as I don't typically wear skeletons or skulls on my javelins, but some of you might enjoy this a little bit more than I. Again, another Season of Skulls potential wrap, it's called Seasonal Spectre. A lot of frozen white, and it looks like we've got some sort of creepy, deaky skeleton thing on our left. Not sure I would even consider picking this one up, but we'll see how it looks on my storm. We're down to the final two, and the first of which is called Snowbound. Again, gold, white, 
brown, some fur, you get the picture. And last but not least, we have Winter's Warrior. This one is actually kind of cool as it has some tassels going down the torso and I could get behind the faded blue. Probably wouldn't pick this up on any of my existing javelins, but again, I think this would look really cool on the Ice Tide armor sets, which we are finally going to get to. Now, surprisingly enough, with the Ice Tide armor sets, I personally believe that the Colossus won hands down, followed by the Ranger. Unfortunately, these armor sets don't have their names on their data mine files, so they could have a different name than what I'm telling you they are, but we'll see what happens. First up, we have, in my opinion, my least favorite, which is the Interceptor's Winter Armor Set. Now, with all the Ice Tide armor sets, they do feature that nice Koroks fur and <laughs> some little horns on the Interceptor. And when I say little, I mean really itty bitty little horns. You don't necessarily need to have the horns coming out of the head. You could have had them on the shoulders or whatever, though it's not a bad armor set by any stretch of the imagination and the helmet isn't half bad. Neither are the shoulders surprisingly as they do have bones jotting out from the fur and you do have bone talons on the hands and it looks like the jetpack does have have a few bones on the wings. Though aside from that, I don't see anything truly remarkable about the Interceptor's armor set, so take that with a grain of salt. Next up we have the Storm's Winter Armor set, and this one is slightly better, though in my humble opinion it isn't one of the best Storm armor sets. The helmet is fan-freaking-phenomenal. I'm really digging the golden jaws and the golden eyes on this armor set, and the seals aren't bad either, they're really cool jotted triangles. Of course, there is fur throughout, and I'm wondering if the cape somehow takes up some of those fur properties, though I sincerely doubt it. Personally, though, I think with a decent color scheme, this armor set could be absolutely top-notch. Though, as with the Interceptors, I don't think they did any justice by this armor set with its current color options. Moving on from there, we have the Rangers Winter Armor Set, and this one is pretty freaking phenomenal, in my opinion. It has huge horns, as with all the armor sets except for the Interceptors, black fur throughout, and the shoulder pads are pretty damn good. Fur with bone jotting out of them, similar to the Interceptors, but you will notice on its left arm in the top left-hand corner, you see that it has bone claws coming out of the back of the arm, closer towards the forearm. The hips also feature bones, and for once, I really like the torso. And when I say for once, I really like the torso, I mean that it has the jotted out collar. Overall, I think this is one of the best Ice Tide armor sets, though it doesn't even pale in comparison to the Colossus, and yeah, I can't believe I'm saying that either, but the Colossus has a great winter armor set, as you can see here. It features giant tusks, which is really cool, and I know a lot of you are going to enjoy that. The pauldrons are excellent, with the bone and fur, and they have a nice somewhat royal knight slash paladin whatever vibe to them. Also, on the back of the upper arms, you see more bone, like in the top left-hand corner, and as per the usual, with all the Ice Tide armor sets, there is fur everywhere. Though the helmet is what I really like the most, and I think the Colossus looks the best without that giant dome on it. You can actually see a faceplate, and <laughs> he somewhat looks like an Eskimo with his hood on. Overall, fantastic armor set. Though, what are your favorite cosmetics from Ice Tide? Are you upset that <sighs> really all the best armor sets and wraps are in the featured store? Let me know in the comment section below as I always read through all of your comments and I will reply if there's conversational potential. And if you enjoyed this video and want to stay up to date on all things about Ice Tide such as Stronghold Breakdown so your rando team isn't as bad, <laughs> then be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on one of our videos. I hope all of you fantastic freelancers have a phenomenal day as always and I'm looking forward to seeing each and every last one of you in the next video very soon. And remember, freelancers, we are strong alone, but we are stronger together.